is the most extreme catchy cook we've ever done. Look at that. <laughs> the death mud pit. One, two. Welcome to what people call the forgotten islands of the South Pacific. I'm in the northernmost part of Vanuatu on islands that are basically untouched and unexplored. It was an absolute bloody mission to get to here. Three days of full travel, four flights, a couple of boat rides. I had to privately charter a plane to drop us off. <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting ride. Getting steeper. Ooh. So he's collecting more leaves to cook with later. Warm and hot. It runs from the volcano and the other side here is from fresh water from the mountain. Oh, feel that heat. Oh my God. Just up there, there is an active volcano. And right behind me, this stream is boiling hot water. We're gonna keep cruising up that way and cook a fish. We're gonna roll on from the start. I'm gonna see it back down here. I would die if I fell in there. We just pulled up to shore from like thousands of meters up to about 10, 15 meters. I gotta get something that we can cook up in the volcano. The locals called a barca, is that right, Eddie? Varka, no. a mother varka. <laughs> when you go to different islands or different places, you give a gift to the local village and they will hopefully allow you to come and explore their territory, which is where the volcano is at. So I'm gonna give this guy to the locals there and hopefully they accept me. Great. Speaks the language. I haven't really shot too many midnight snapper. We don't get them back where I'm from at home in Australia. They're a really, really flighty fish, so I sort of got to make it down to the bottom and just sit, wait, and hope. So that's my mission right now. I think I want to get myself a midnight snapper to cook on the volcano. I'll see you guys in a drink. Finally got one. This is a midnight snapper. This is the biggest one I've ever shot. There's so many down there, just super, super shy. But uh, I'm gonna bring this guy with us and we're gonna cook this up at the volcano. We're just going into a big storm. We're going to go check out the waterfall and then keep our journey going up, up towards the volcano and hopefully cook a fish. I don't know if it's going to work, so hang around to the end. We'll see you guys in there. Land ahoy, baby. We're going to go that way somewhere. Up, 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 up. Up we go. Oh, snake. Look at that. I don't want to like threaten him too much because I swear this would be the first time he's ever seen a human. But this is so cool. Where you going, buddy? There you go. Look at him wrap up. We got a long way to go. Up, up, up to the waterfall and beyond. 
We're getting close. That's just up and over and it's right there. That's insane. I'm going for a swim. Freezing cold. We're going to move on around it and keep going up towards the volcano. Rainforest. It's actually, it's a real big challenge, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. And we're, we're like not even halfway. So this right here, we're gonna use it to tie up the fish when we put it in the, the hot part of the volcano, wherever we can find. Oh, okay. Take out the other side and th this is the stuff that you use. Alright, there you go. Got some rope. I still don't really know what's going on, so hang around. <laughs> it's, it's hard, the, the English barrier there is crazy. Oh shit, man. Just the steam coming off it. Look at that. <laughs> so this is boiling hot. Oh! Are they hot rocks? Oh! No way. In these rocks underneath there, it's boiling, boiling hot. Putting the uh, wood over the I don't know, a trail, so we can get across. Would that, like, burn you? Yeah. Oh. So this is the first sort of village that we're passing through on the way, up, up and up. We also gave them some fish, and everyone's happy. <laughs> A lot of these villages, they have seen people like us, but like very, very rare. But our guy, he's been, he's grown up here. His father and his grandfather, so very knowledgeable. So that stream over there is boiling hot, like would cook you. If you fell in there, you're probably gonna die. This one here is fresh water, so that's cool. And they meet there and the volcanoes, you know, up, up there. So this water right here, apparently we can drink it, it's that fresh, so have a little sip. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> I am so far from the ocean, I'm so out of my comfort zone. Never done anything like this before. Oh. Oh, man, you guys can feel the, you can feel the heat. Look at that, that's insane. It's a deaf mud pit. Up, 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 up. So this boiling hot area here is where we're gonna cook the fish. We're gonna wrap it up in everything we collected and drop it in that boiling hot water and it'll cook. So this is the midnight snapper we got early on. Just taking the gut scales off it. We're obviously gonna cook it whole. There's a fair few lads to feed, but absolutely. That, that one first. Yeah. Oh, and then that one. So there's three different, three different leaves? Yes, okay, fish. Fish on? Yep, put in the middle. In the middle like that? Yes. Like that? Oh. So this is the vine that we got earlier on. It's all coming together now and my back is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fish here and we've left a big trail on so we can lift it back up later on. All right, so I'm gonna put the fish in the boiling hot rock without falling in myself. One, two. Oh, we're cooking a bloody fish in a volcano and I'm tying this on. I can't believe we're doing this. This is wild. Time has come. Ah, man, it's proper hot. <laughs> <It's hot. laughs> Freshly caught from the ocean with the local boys. This is about as good as a catch and cook's ever gonna get. I'm pretty sure we're the first people to ever do this. I'm gonna try some. Ah, ah the <laughs> Oh, cheers. Tastes like crayfish. It's really good. It looks like the boys are absolutely going to demolish the rest of this fish. 
There isn't much left to do. That's a wrap, baby. Yeah. It was an experience. <laughs>